I shorted the NVIDIA stock at the end of May 2024 and recorded a video and put it on my channel. It received a lot of views and I got probably the most comments of any video I've ever produced. I appreciate everybody's comments on those videos, good and bad. I thought it was really productive to hear all sides. I continue to hold that short position. I've actually shorted more shares since that position first started. I wanted to update my position in the stock, share with you what I've seen over the last 30 days, and then communicate how I feel about the stock and how I feel about the trade that I've gotten myself into. So let's get started. First off, I think NVIDIA is a great company and a really special company that has innovated in the area of graphical processing units, which they first developed so that they could help video gamers really have the best graphics on their computers. And they took that accelerated computing and applied it first actually to mine Bitcoin. If you remember, their GPUs were being used for that area. But more recently, it's been to help in the AI build out where the, this accelerated computing could be used to train large language models, which is a key event that a company has to complete in order for their AI to have, uh, I think, the capabilities to answer a lot of questions. This wave of demand is incredible. The company is doing great. So as I did in the first video, in any video I've ever done on NVIDIA, I start off by really sharing with you that I am a fan of the company. I think the company is great. But the company is not the stock price, and the stock price is not the company. Those are two separate topics. And I observe that a lot of people are getting carried away in kind of falling in love with NVIDIA and neglecting fundamentals that really drive valuations. And that's where I began to think that, hey, I'm going to be on the other side of the boat on this one. I think it'd be a wise thing to do and begin to short the position because the stock has just gotten too high if you apply any type of fundamental valuation based on really the most optimistic forecast you just can't get to the stock price and i'm going to substantiate my analysis and put it out there for you i'd love to get your feedback on it but what i've observed over the last month is i may have been a little early in shorting the stock at the end of may but since then i've heard on cnbc i've heard online on youtube from some very credible uh, hedge fund managers, as well as economists, I've heard more and more people begin to question the NVIDIA stock price. I'm not the only one. On Reddit, I see investors themselves. Investors are cashing out of their NVIDIA stock. I heard investors were cashing out you know, three months ago. Now I'm seeing it more and more and hearing about it more and more. When you think about it, we're halfway through 2024. It's been a really good year. And last year was really good as well. And a lot of investors can really make 2024, if they're invested in NVIDIA, a winning year. And I believe they're, they're taking the current stock price and cashing it in. Even Jim Cramer, who's been an NVIDIA cheerleader, has said, has communicated that people should take profits. They should take money off the table with regards to NVIDIA stock. So again, NVIDIA is a great company, but the company is not the stock price. And the stock price is not the company. The stock price has gone parabolic and there isn't one parabolic stock where the story didn't end with the stock came down drastically in value and it took years for it to, to come back if it ever did. And you could see other stories. I'd love to hear of one. I could be wrong in that statement. I don't think I'm wrong, but if I am, show me one example. I know I've gotten a lot of comments on the video. Again, I appreciate them all. If there's one example out there, of a stock that went parabolic and then the subsequent five to 10 years were positive years for that stock. I'd love to see that story because there isn't one as far as I am aware of. Great. So we went over the last month. I think more and more news is coming out that the NVIDIA stock is likely overpriced. Where am I with this position? So I've averaged my short position because I established a short position at the end of May. And I've added to the position twice in the month of June. And right now, I sit at an average short price of $18 and some odd cents. Overall, I'm down 4% on my short position. Not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, I was probably down 12, 14%, maybe up, upwards of 15%. Shorting a stock is very risky. And therefore, I'm not going to 
you know, let this stock kind of get out of hand. Let's say Nvidia doubled or tripled. I'm getting out of it. If let's say we hit, I hit a 30% loss. I'm really going to think very carefully as to, Hey, should I just take the loss and move on and learn something here, which is that the market momentum is just really hard to read. And uh, I will gladly make one more video and share with you my humble experience in losing 30% on a short position with Nvidia. But it's good to see that the stock did uh, rise quite a bit in June, but then it re really settled down toward the end of June. And especially this past week, I think the, the uh, sentiment around Nvidia is more negative than it is positive. So we'll see how it behaves in July. We'll see if I end the month of July, maybe in positive range, which, me which means that the stock needs to continue to go down or if it's gonna rally, we'll see. I plan to keep this position open until the end of the year, unless it just really takes off or if it really dives and I achieve a 30% return, I will be uh, carefully looking at it and maybe closing out with a nice gain. But uh, that's my current position on Nvidia. I'm down about 4%. I'm really picking up the right signals from the marketplace that, hey, there's more people and more hedge fund managers. There's more investors really talking about how Nvidia, the stock price just got too high. People are beginning to question, you know, is the AI build out gonna sustain revenues at Nvidia and profits for the next 10 years? The stock is priced as if it's gonna sustain its revenues and profits for 10, 20 years. That just isn't the norm for semiconductor companies. Semiconductor companies are cyclical. You have a couple good years followed by a couple bad years. In this case here, once AI is built out, for the leaders in the space, the companies that have the deep pockets like AWS, Microsoft, Google, and some other big companies, once those deep pockets have spent their money, where's the next round of investing for AI gonna come from? This is an unknown business model. There aren't very many business models out there where you could say, hey, look, people are making money out of AI. ChatGPT is free. Google Gemini is free. Meta has put out their AI model for free. So at this point, those deep pocket companies are giving those experiences away. How many companies are going to want to maybe invest in an AI business that may or may not pay off in the next five, 10 years? I don't think many are going to. And I, again, I ask viewers that, Hey, I'd love any real example to be provided in the comments. If you, if you see other real businesses that for example, Netflix is easy. Netflix sells a subscription. You pay for that subscription. You watch movies. I'm not aware that there's one business AI wise where that's, that's a fact. I know that Microsoft is trying to sell its AI app uh, with its office suite of office products. That's one example. So that one's taken. I know that Microsoft's investing big and that one's taken there. But other than that, you know, incremental, I think feature that they're gonna have on their office products for, from Microsoft, I'm not aware of some, you know, mind blowing new business. For example, Facebook, the social app, once we got in a connected world or Google search and they got AdWords and we're able to really make a lot of money. There's no real business in AI yet. I think there will be in five or 10 years, but for now we're, we're just seeing a tremendous amount of investment without a return on investment for these companies. And again, if you're one of these deep pocket technology companies, Microsoft, AWS, Google, maybe IBM, Meta, and those companies have already bought a lot of their GPUs. Where's the next round of investing going to come? I don't know. I really don't know. But those are the questions that should be answered in order for people to substantiate the forecast that they're putting on NVIDIA. So love to get people's feedback. And last thing, I'll go through my valuation and I'll give you my valuation, which I provided on my original video. And really it hasn't changed much other than the stock price. I've updated the stock price. Let's go through that. So I valued Nvidia based on the free cash flows on the most optimistic forecast that I could put out there for the company. And that would be a forecast where they continue to grow at their current rates. They generate upwards of 40 billion plus in free cash flow in 2024. Then they grow that free cash flow by 25% in the next four years. That's incredibly ambitious, but I'm going to give it to them just so that I could see where the numbers lie. After that, they're going to sustain those cash flows and grow at 4%. This is in the range of Apple, Microsoft. This is a very, very high valuation. And based on those numbers, I get to an intrinsic value of all the cash flows of $1.59 trillion. And 
I add the cash on the balance sheet and take away debt from NVIDIA, and I get to an equity value of 1.6 trillion, but the current market cap is much higher. It's up above $3 trillion. So it provides a discount, excuse me, a premium on NVIDIA stock of 48%. If you look at the cash flows, this is the most optimistic forecast I could put out there. Other people have a more optimistic forecast, but I've looked at analyst reports. And if you look at my favorite website to look at uh, analyst work is stock analysis. And on stock analysis, the forecasts that are out there, there's 40 analysts covering it. The lowest forecast puts the share price at $47 a share. So I'm not the only one out there saying, hey, there's, they're just not as valuable as that the stock price is uh, being sold at. The average valuation is $122 per share, which is right around the stock price now. And there's an analyst with the high stock price at $200 a share. So a lot of analysts are covering, they have a buy rating, although they believe that the, the price is fairly priced, excuse me, the stock is fairly priced at this time. So overall, you know, I think uh, based on free cash flows, it is being sold at a premium of 48%. Earnings per share has a more favorable valuation. It's expected they're gonna do about $2.76 per share in 2024, and I'm giving them a PE of 36. A growth rate of 5% on the uh, earnings per share gets me a per share price of $104, and the current stock price is $123. So there's about a 16% premium if I use earnings per share. When I blend the two, and I believe free cash flow is the more important factor. So I take two thirds of that uh, calculation, one third of earnings per share, and I get to a 37% premium on NVIDIA stock that I believe is currently being priced. And that's with the most optimistic forecast I can give NVIDIA. And that's really why I began to short the stock. So that's my uh, evaluation of NVIDIA. I hope you found it interesting. And just as always on all my videos, I'm an individual investor. I'm not providing any financial advice. I'm not recommending you, that you buy NVIDIA, sell NVIDIA, short NVIDIA, uh, or do anything with the stock at all. I'm just sharing my experience with you, and I hope you found it interesting. I appreciate you watching, and I really appreciate all the comments on NVIDIA.